Genghis Khan's death in 1227 is enveloped in mystery, with tales ranging from battle injuries to sudden illness. However, it is his mysterious burial that truly captivates with its chilling secrecy. I will tell you about that in a minute, but first I want to tell you about the man and how his qualities exemplify the characteristics of the major arcana card, the emperor, and how by remembering this mysterious story, you can learn how to read tarot quickly and accurately. Welcome to the mysterious world of tarot, where learning the cards transforms into a captivating journey through storytelling. Join me every Sunday as we explore the rich narratives of each card, making the lessons more intuitive and enjoyable. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up and subscribe for the next episode. Genghis Khan, born as Temujin, emerged from the windswept steppes of Mongolia to forge the largest contiguous empire the world has ever known. Stretching from the Pacific Ocean to the fringes of Europe, his rise was marked by unparalleled military genius and a vision that reshaped the course of history, uniting warring tribes under a single banner and opening the Silk Road to unprecedented cultural and economic exchange. But let's let Emperor Khan tell his own story. 800 years ago, I, Genghis Khan, a symbol of leadership, structure, and unwavering control, felt my mortality wavering. I called my most trusted advisors and generals. I prepared to issue a set of instructions that would become as legendary as my conquests. Should I die, I declared, my voice carrying the authority that had united nations. Let no man know the place of my burial. Take my body to the homeland and let the secret of my final resting place die with those who bear me there. The room fell silent as the gravity of my words sank in. They knew that disobeying my request would be met with swift justice. As the greatest conqueror the world had ever known, I was unyielding in my enforcement of laws, and I was preparing for my final campaign, one of secrecy and mystery. Kill anyone who crosses your path, I continued. My eyes gleamed with the same intensity that had struck fear into my enemies. Let a thousand horses trample my grave and then slay those who rode them. The world shall never find where Genghis Khan rests. My instructions were clear, and my men nodded solemnly, understanding the magnitude of the task before them. Little did they know that these commands would spark one of history's greatest mysteries. In 1227, with my strategic planning and foresight, I meticulously planned operations against the formidable warlord Jishia. I saw the long game, planning not just for battles, but for the future of my empire. My life and reign were a masterclass in leadership, discipline, and strategic vision. During this war against the Jishia kingdom, my predictions came true. I fell ill. Some say I was injured in battle, while others whisper of more sinister ends. But the truth of my passing became as elusive as I had been in life. True to their word, my army carried out my final wishes with ruthless efficiency. They bore my body back to Mongolia, leaving a trail of silence in their wake. The location of my tomb became the subject of legend, with tales of forests planted to conceal it and rivers diverted to protect it. For nearly 800 years, the mystery of my final resting place has endured. Researchers and adventurers have searched tirelessly, using everything from ancient texts to satellite imagery. Yet my tomb remains hidden. This enduring enigma serves as a testament to my power. 
Even in death, I continue to command secrecy and respect. My final instructions created a mystery that has captivated the world for centuries, a fitting legacy for a man who brought order to the wild steppes, established a new era of unity and strength, reshaped history, and whose influence still echoes across the steps of time.